In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. <coughs> I'm going to use um, hopefully the next ten minutes to discuss some aspects of modernity and how it has affected a religious outlook. Um, first of all, I would like to mention that modernity gave itself birth from what uh, it would itself call rationality in the European setting. So when Galilee when Galileo um, made some discoveries and in response to that the it, and that was as, as a response to the church and the story continues that finally rationality and uh, human knowledge was the victor and the uh, Catholic Church was the loser. So this is the background from which modernity is coming. Okay, It is coming out and it is giving birth to itself out of a uh, a victory, a, a, what it considered itself to have uh, is a victory against religion. And so one of the prominent features of modernity was skepticism of religion. So while religion was uh, Christian, the Christian religion was intellectually challenged and in their view defeated, <coughs> another thing was taking place and there's so many aspects of modernity so let me just which was that human beings had been living in a natural environment up till that time that's why some people have defined modernity as post agrarian society meaning in not an agricultural society it is an industrial society is what modernity is and in the in the in, in the natural environment that man saw himself under god he determined time by the sun, determined time by the moon. He was determining time by God, by the nature that God had given him. He was mostly using nature. Uh, you know, um, one of the qualities of modernity is man has been is being disconnected from nature. How often does a modern man look to the sky at night compared to a pre-modern man? Another aspect of modernity is that we tend to. Um, we tend to uh, identify ourselves in comparison to the pre-modern times. That the modern time is this way and the pre-modern times are this way. And another aspect of modernity is that we uh, tend to assume in modernity that modern, what is today is necessarily better than what was yesterday. Uh, and so, uh, so if what is today is necessarily better than what was yesterday, there is again skepticism of religion. And let me just uh, go quickly from here. So if there is nature and nature is determining time for us, I depend upon God for my food because I can put in the seeds, but I have to wait for God to determine when the rain will come. So then what happens? What happens is that God is the center of life. And trust upon God and prayer to God is really essential because it is connected to your uh, it your your whole environment and your whole uh, harvest and your whole eating and living and survival, God is very much part of that. And so, uh, what has happened is that now in an in industrial society, uh, the bonds of human beings are being broken. Alienation is taking place. For the f uh, you know besides the fact that because of cross culture inter local culture communication in, you know cross continental cultural exchange the individual culture uh, becomes diluted with a national in a globalized culture that's emerging and what is happening by that um, is that this globalized culture is very artificial man-made pop culture um, it is not um, not ethnically grown from 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 the roots so human beings are experiencing meaninglessness and rootlessness and uh, and this is a very big part of modernity that I'd like to touch upon but I'm just touching upon some aspects you know the so modernity came with a lot of promises 
you know, here comes science, here comes industry, here comes technology. We'll solve the problem, of the world uh, from uh, from starvation. We will solve the problems of the world. We'll make everyone healthy. We'll make good economies, and all these promises that modernity came with, and you know, with it came ideas of liber, uh, ideas of freedom, ideas of uh, involving things like sexual revolution you know remove any inhibition sexually um, and to express that new art new music new culture came to express all these ideas from the from you know from Freud and from all these philosophers from Hume and uh, you know starting with Descartes and going all the way down to Nietzsche and even further uh, you know uh, 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 and uh, and so all these uh, ideas that emerged in the 20th century and this new culture that was in part of an industrial culture and <coughs> this, the defeat of religion and creation of skepticism of tradition the idea of progress of what is better today is, is what is today is better than, t uh, th than what was yesterday necessarily what will be tomorrow is better than what is today necessarily all these ideas created have created a and you know the movement of information globally where information is moving globally but all of this information all of this knowledge all of this industry has and 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 with that uh, lest I forget the creation of new governments new ways of organizing society no longer the system of kingship no longer the system of tribalism new ways of forming economies and organizing societies and running societies um, and uh, all of this uh, coming and creating a new class system all of this uh, <coughs> you know coming with the breakdown of nuclear families n forget about nuclear families the alienation problem of neighbors not even knowing each other anymore co-workers not knowing each other and so this whole phenomenon of modernity uh, the events that have taken place after man left the agricultural sector, disconnected himself from nature, and moved on to industry, created an artificial world around him. Man sees the eggs but doesn't see the hens, sees the milk, never sees the cow. Um, and the use of technology, the manipulation of technology, all of this has done what? Is the question. All of this has removed us from our inner selves to completely an artificial world where we are obsessed with materialism, we are obsessed with the idea of progress in, in, in an industrial society as the center of modernity. Man sees his success in accordance to where he is materialistically, where he is in terms of industry, where he is in terms of productivity meaningfulness comes from the idea of how productive I am not by an introspection of inside not by contemplating upon the perennial questions not by trying to find uh, the balancing of one's emotions and one's life but running the rat race and so here is a person who is successful by the standards of modernity but his job at a certain company is let's say he's successful pays a hundred thousand paid a hundred thousand dollars but his job is to write documents as proposals for his company to government bids or whatever it may be but all this success and what is it that we're trying to we are paid to accomplish very small specialized things creating a sense of meaninglessness and <coughs> and 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 this meaninglessness in society where we are not connected to the ideas of morality as much even though there is this idea of humanism and so on and so forth but again it's not rooted in anything real it doesn't have that authenticity that orthodoxy has and uh, thus you know the rise of religion in the postmodern times um, as you may know um, but again what I'm trying to say here is that we have been disconnected uh, from ourselves in a sense and this is something that we need to discover 
that why is it why is it that the artificial world that's around us somehow disconnects us from us why is it that the artificial world we've created around us doesn't uh, and the industrial world around us is is taking away our humanity and what I mean by that is look at the crime rates a, 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 a lady is raped every six seconds the bonds between parents and children look at that breaking like never before in society you can be working in your workplace for 10 years and you don't know your co-worker what is it about this artificial society that we've created where the natural order is disrupted that we are no longer able to express our humanity we know how to use technology but most of technology is being used to create weapons to sell weapons to trade weapons to 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 proliferate weapons to control the world through weapons with this comes a sense of freedom but with that freedom comes ideas that challenge traditional ideas of morality and make people first time do things in society that we've never done human beings killing other human beings not knowing why they killed the other human beings and those that are killed don't know why they were killed and so the words of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came true that there will come a time before the day of judgment where a person will kill will not know why he's killing and the person who is killed will not know why he was killed this is the meaninglessness that we have reached and on top of that this artificial world that we've created is so against nature that nature is reacting to it that there is plastic in the middle of the ocean today that is as as huge as Texas look it up on the internet as huge as Texas so what world are we creating by by by, by and, and you know modernity is the skepticism of tradition to, to, to be skeptical of religion this is the essence of what has happened as a, as a result of modernity what it what happened when it brought a, with it the the ability to uh, to um, to manipulate nature when it brought with its birth the the uh, the, the the victory over Christianity uh, it brought with it skepticism and so we must really reinve reinvestigate uh, the idea of meaningfulness what is it from human beings what is modernity doing to human beings we really have to look, look into this and now that we are in the in the world of hyper modernity and post modernity we really have to see what is it that this world that we've created how does it affect us as human beings and <coughs> I'll end with uh, this verse from the Holy Quran وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ نَصُوا اللَّهِ do not be like those people who got who forgot God who forgot and got disconnected from God so God got made them forget themselves we forgot our souls and we are we are obsessed with our bodies we are we are forgetting about long-term things the effect upon society the effect upon the environment and we are obsessed with the here and the now we have forgotten about the life to come and we're obsessed with the here and the now and and so we we, are, we have forgotten the issues of quality like spending time with your children and we're obsessed with the quantity of progress and so these are just some foods of thought I would leave for you uh, thank you very much <laughs>